Hello, hello, my bullet journaling friends, planner friends, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, I wanted to come on and just talk for a few minutes as um, this month has been like the hardest month for me to figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's really been kind of crazy. Um, I just don't know what kind of theme I want to do. And November is hard. I don't want it to be Christmassy. Um, but really fall is going to be pretty much over by the time November gets here. It's, a lot of our trees are almost already bare at this point, um, here in Michigan. Um, but I don't want to pass over Thanksgiving and just go right to Christmas. Cause I think, but I do a ton of my Christmas like shopping and stuff in November. I don't know guys. It's like, I just have no idea. Um, I did post this on my, um, on my community tab last night. Uh, and a few of you definitely tried to help. Um, it's just been something a little crazy, right? So today as I walked, you know, just trying to get some inspiration in places, trying to, you know, just figure out what I kind of want to do. Um, I was at Joanne Fabrics and I remembered that I did have this Tim Holtz, which it's completely upside down. Um, Tim Holtz, uh, stencil. And then I was like, okay, well we could kind of maybe even go back to the whole, um, Oh, well that didn't work. Did it kind of go back to the whole plaid theme, not completely theme, but you know, put a little bit of plaid accents. And then I did remember that I did get, um, some new stamps from Amazon. Hold on guys. I think I just moved it again. Anyways, some new stamps from Amazon and I have decided that I am going to go with more of a folly theme, I guess. Fall slash, um, slash Thanksgiving theme. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give that there. Hold on. So we're going to keep it, um, neutrals. And literally, this is all I have. <laughs> I legit have nothing else planned. Um, like nothing is actually wrote down in this planner. Um, I have more planned out for my Christmas planner than I do than I do any other thing for November. Um, because I actually will be working on. Let's see what this guy does. Anyways, I will be working on my, yeah, he works. Anyways, I will <laughs> be like going in between all of this, but, um, I will be working on my Christmas planner in conjunction with my November planner. So you guys are kind of going to get both in all of the same sense because, um, yeah. And we all know that this paper is no good for inking. Um, so, Ooh, I love that guys. <laughs> I'm like super distracted. Um, this is why I don't do, you know, I don't speak during this part anyways. Um, because I am going to need my, so, uh, I, I'm going to need my Christmas planner because I'm going to be planning Christmas a lot during all of this. And so, um, yeah, so you're going to get Christmas content along with, um, November content, I guess. So be on the lookout for that. Have any of you guys started planning for Christmas? Do you do a whole separate Christmas planner? Um, I always have, uh -oh. um, I always have because I have so much that I plan for during those seasons. Oh goodness. Okay. We're not doing very well holding my stencil down. 
It's no big deal though. I'm going to be stamping over this, I believe. So it's not the end of the world. But I do keep on moving it. Um, yeah. I'm like, did I just do that wrong? Anyways. All right. I obviously need to put you guys on some, on a voiceover because I obviously cannot do two things at once. And I have a little boy getting off of the bus here soon. So I would like to start getting most of this done. Um, before he does get off. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. We're moving right along here. I loving this. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to put you on voiceover. Um, we're going to work through this. Um, all right guys. So you clearly seen how much I was struggling with trying to do that and talk at the same time. I, yep. I just can't do all that. The, I was actually watching Cindy, um, do her bullet journal and talk for a while. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, she is killing it right now with, I would be spelling things wrong. I would be, my thoughts would be gone. Like she's killing it with how she can talk and bullet journal at the same time. But, um, I don't know if anyone else can do that, but I can. Anyways. All right. So I bought these uh, stamps off of Amazon. Um, I will link them down below. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, but they were like corner stamps with pumpkins and leaves and all that kind of stuff. So I did decide to go this route here. I am just using my Crayola super tips to color in those pumpkins. I am just using like a darker orange color on the bottom, on the bottom and using a lighter orange color in the middle for more of a highlight. Uh, do they blend? Well, no, <laughs> super tips. I, I don't, some people say they can blend very well with them. I can't blend well with them and I definitely can't blend with them on this paper. Um, so maybe once I get to my scribbles with, um, uh, scribbles that matter bullet journal where, you know, it's six, 160 paper and all of that, it might be able to blend a little bit better, but in these ones, no, but you know what? It looks decent. Um, so I'm taking it. So all right, just doing that other corner um, where I was definitely getting tripped up was to do them in the other two corners. I don't know, like this cover page, like I mentioned before, I was just having a very tough time with this cover page. Honestly, um, if I hadn't done the plaid theme just in September, I might have just made this whole, I would have stenciled this whole picture in. And honestly, I probably should have used a stencil in September because it was just sitting in my stash. So, all right, here we go with the most horrible center job I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> You're going to see, I'm going to, I know I'm off because I'm way past that B. I've made letters way too big. Yep. It is, <laughs> you see, I like threw my tombo pen over. It is what it is. Um, so I'm going to erase those marks and uh, go to the back of this. I know that I have like one or two pages extra in this journal that I will not be using at the end. Um, and so I use the very best page to just go and re-journal this and, uh, or rewrite this. And yes, it comes out much better. I slow down a little bit and I move that in over significantly. So love it. Cut it out. Yes, you can definitely see it. Um, there's some notebooks that you can, you know, cut the paper and redo it. This was such a substantial amount of paper. I think like such a big piece of paper. Um, you were going to see it. It's not the end of the world. Like, like you can, like I said, you can see it. I even, I did line up the, um, the marks on the paper, the dots on the paper and everything. And you're, you're, you're just still going to see it. It's just a large piece of paper. It's hard to hide. I did this back in my October, one of my October spreads. And honestly, you couldn't see it that much. Um, but that's because I was like stamping over it and all that kind of stuff. So I am going to try and hide it a little bit. So I'm going to bring my stencil back and all honesty at this point, I really wish that I would have stenciled in the middle, wrote November over top of it and went that route instead of the corners. Again, it's not a big deal. It's just a title page or a cover page or whatever. Do I very rarely go back and look at these? Yeah, that's about I mean, a couple of times. It starts my, you know, it starts my month and that's about it. So. 
Um, one thing I did not talk about in the beginning, um, the colors that I am working with are Antique Linen Distress Oxide and T. Hold on, something T. Where are you? Where is that little guy? Did I put him away? Nope, he's right here. And tea dye is the other color. I will link those below. The tea dye is actually regular distress ink. So you do want to use two different brushes. And in all honesty, I probably shouldn't have been even blending on top of distress oxide, but all I have is the little inkers. Um, so I'm not that worried about the distress ink getting on that inker. So those are pretty little and cheap. And you know, if it gets messed up, it's not the end of the world, honestly. So here I am just coloring in another pumpkin. Most likely, I didn't want to color in all this day. Um, most likely, I will go back and color in most of the rest of this um, just to give it more color, make it pop more. I don't really love the black, you know, outline. I did um, toy with doing the a brown outline, and I probably should have, honestly, just to keep the color palette as like browns and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure when also I went in. I'm not sure if I do it on camera or not. I don't remember seeing it in this edit. It might be later. Um, but I do go back and ombre out um, that November. So I take a... Actually, I think I took the same exact color and I just went over it, the uh, November title, one more time. Um, and just kind of like ombre it a little bit. I just felt like it was a little too simple and it just needed to pop a little bit more as I'm looking at it. Because I even, no, I never did a drop shadow. Um, I go back with it with brown, black, and I absolutely hate that. I should have never done that. But I do go back and ombre it a little bit, so, and blend it a little bit. Is it my favorite? No, this month is not my favorite. I kind of knew that from the get-go, um, as... I couldn't figure out a theme and honestly I'm looking so much forward to my December that you know so in honestly my um it, it didn't bleed through that bad like I honestly thought it was going to more in my surprise there we go in my surprise um I, I just thought it was and I toyed with actually not even doing this but you know I, I was like nope I have extra pieces of paper extra paper in this journal that I won't need. Let's just do it. So there we go. Taped all that down. Now we're going to move on to my monthly. I knew I wanted my monthly spread to mimic this one. I liked this layout. I felt like it was a big enough square boxes, but I did want separate boxes. So I did know that my boxes were going to go down a little bit. Um, but I wanted each box separate. I seen this um, and I wanted to try it and see how we felt about it. So for some reason, it took a lot of counting and trying to figure this out. <laughs> I don't know why um, you're going to see me counting. And I honestly cut a lot of this out. Um, but sitting there counting and counting and counting. Uh, but I finally get it. So I believe my boxes, which remember I am in a B5, were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 long by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 8 wide. So 8 by 7 um, with one spot in between. And it came out great, guys. I love it. Um, I'll probably do it more as like, I am kind of adding a lot into this monthly, um, maybe especially in my busier months, maybe, um, I'll do it. I actually am not doing it in December. I have a lot of my December already set up, penciled in, I guess, sketched. Um, but I'm also going back down to an A5 for my December cause I'm going into a Christmas planner. So I'm going into an A5. Yeah, I don't. And I, in that, in that setup, I'm doing three monthlies, excuse me, um, which you're going to soon find out because I'm going to start those here soon. I can tell you next Monday will be the start of my December, uh, setup for my planner. So, and then all of December will be just doing like a uh, weekly spreads, I believe, um, and setting up my 2023 journal. So I'm super excited about that. All right. As I'm just running through these boxes again. <clears throat> I 
as much as this took me a little bit of time, it was kind of therapeutic, just sketching out long lines. It wasn't hard. The hard part was stopping where you should be stopping. And you're going to see that I made about three mistakes, I think. Um, I just took a little bit of white out to those um, and you'll barely see them in the end. And uh, if you are on straight white paper, you really wouldn't see them. But because I'm on this yellowish paper that I don't love, um, it's just actually one, two, three. <laughs> I actually messed up about four or five times and I even miss one over there, but I end up fixing that. So again, using, I forgot to tell you this in the beginning, but using my, um, flare or paper mate flare pen that's just what works on this paper I don't know if that's what's going to work in my scribbles that matter the most uh, but for this paper that's what works the best and dries the fastest and honestly I'm just been loving the boldness of this um I used to write with the paper mate paper mate flare all the time and then I switched over to the sharpie s gels or um the ink joys one of the two and i'm just you know i just i go back and forth so using that stencil again though to pull this whole thing together um and just in the corners um still again loving how this is all coming out um i highly recommend using stencils in your planners because it like literally is the easiest thing honestly so and just blending in that tea dye Oh, that right there. There's that tea dye. You can see that it's just one of the small ones. So, all right, going to start lettering again. The November, not going to go with anything fancy, just regular uh, font. I don't know what you call this block font, not even block font, but um, just regular old lettering. <laughs> nice and simple. Again, like I said, this was. Uh, I'm doing a lot of planning right now, so I'm definitely like getting bogged down a little bit, but also getting excited for my December and wanting to move on to that. It's really bad. I'm like skipping over November. So normally in my Christmas planner, my November and actually I used to do a holiday planner is what it was when I was a happy planner. I would completely come out of my regular planner and go into a, a holiday planner, which would actually start in October. So October, November, and December would be in one planner. Um, it's just the way I love to do it. I still actually would love to do it. And next year, I might plan on doing it that way, um, especially if, um, you know, my planner is getting full and you know I'm not having many more spots which I kind of do see next year because I am adding a little bit more next year um <coughs> but so far guys my December layout is 54 pages long 54 pages long but I definitely plan everything from Thanksgiving to Christmas. And like I mentioned before, I'm doing three monthly layouts as one for my regular December. Um, I also do plan out all of the Elf on the Shelf on a calendar along with uh, 25 activities a day for my children. Now, the last two, two years, we haven't been able to get to all 25 as they're just getting older and they, you know, that type of thing. But um yeah, so lots of things to plan in Dece for December, right? So I would like to bunch all that because I do start planning so early. But All right, I felt like this needed just a little bit more. I will probably be going back. Oh, I switched over to the brown ink, as you've seen there, and that's vintage photo um, for the leaves. And eventually I will go back in and color those leaves in, but I did just go through and put all of the numbers along with... Um, along with a little swatch behind it. So, all right, let's move on to our first weekly spread. Um, super excited for this. I loved this layout in October. So I decided I was going to kind of mimic this again. Not quite as much, not quite as much doodling, but um, definitely uh, mimicking this layout. So um, the other thing with this layout is at first, I was going to just put Saturday and Sunday uh, or Saturday at the end and Sunday on the bottom, but I did forget that I did put thirty, the Monday the 31st 
over in October because I just felt that was weird to put Halloween in a different month. And I've been so into all of the Halloween spreads. So if you've seen my last plan with me, I did put the 31st in my other uh, weekly. So this one really only needed six days. So that kind of worked out perfect, right? Um, so yeah, so we're going to just start this week on a Tuesday. Is it a little weird? It is okay. It's not the end of the world. And honestly, my work week is going to kind of start on the Tuesday anyways. There's not much I'm going to get done on that Halloween, which is tomorrow when I'm doing this voiceover. Um, all right. So back to the stencil again to just keep this theme going. I'm probably not going to keep this theme going the whole month, but just for the first couple of spreads and then probably mix it in a little bit here. Um, with like my YouTube calendar and meal plan and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. I did that stenciling and now I'm just coming back to the days of the week. I am using a stamp set by Allie Edwards. This one was a day, a day in a, I think this was a day in a life stamp. Um, actually both of these are Daniel. The next one I'm going to use was the most recent 2022 Dana Life. And I believe this was last year's Dana Life right here. Um, I just use that little circle. I've used that circle a lot, but yeah, using the date stamps right here from that. And I, I remembered right then there, you seen me do the Monday. I'm like, Oh wait, this isn't even going to start with Monday. It's going to start with Tuesday. Um, and then I was like, Oh, this all comes together. <laughs> so Again, using that vintage photo just to keep the browns uh, very neutral color palette through this whole thing. Nothing too much. So this is about where we're going to wrap it up. Everything gets a little simple from here and just finishing out the stenciling and putting the numbers in with this studio calico stamp set i think this is one of my favorites so um again i'll list everything below guys thank you so much for starting the month of november out with me i am super excited to jump into the holidays though it is a little bit of anxiety but you know let's do this and start decorating for christmas i will talk to you guys soon definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't and i will see you in the next one